It's been said, no farmers, no food, no future. To make the future brighter for our farmer friends, Weather Trends 360 wants to help you be proactive, not reactive, in forging that brighter future. A not too distant future, by the way, that could produce $7 corn in 2016. So stay with us to see why. At WT360, our way beats their way when it comes to forecasting the weather for you, the farmer, as well as over a hundred Fortune 5000 customers. Our way math-based, their way physics-based. We win. Why? The other guys aren't always wrong, they're just not right often enough. Recent example, weather firms using a basic El Nino understanding in physics-based forecasting called for cold summer and fall. WT360 forecast warmest summer in three years, but not the scorching heat and drought the Almanacs forecast, nor the frigid weather forecast by those weather guys on TV. We win by a solid margin. Certainly, you've all heard about the upcoming Mega El Nino, which is viewed by traditional meteorologists as the single climate index for predicting long-range weather. That's not how we do it. At WT360, we factor in 24 different climate cycles combined, then assess if these elements are increasing, trending flat, or decreasing. What you get is a 61 with 103 zeros behind it of calculations to make, something NASA and NOAA don't do while we do. 61 with 103 zeros is the number of iterations necessary to make reliable year-ahead forecasts using math not physics, which traditional meteorologists use. That's at least trillions upon trillions of iterations. It's a battle of beliefs. Here's why our way is a better way. Traditional weather forecasting uses physics, computer models, and fluid dynamics. If there was just one storm, one drop in the ocean, it would be easy. But it's mission impossible, because there are millions of storms in the ocean. And using this method, forecasts change four times a day. So how can you plan with such uncertainty? This leads to knee-jerk reactions. We don't do it this way. Their way equals chaos. So how do we get the forecast right 11 months out when traditional meteorologists can't get it right five days from now? Simple. Our way uses math. Math is predictable. We take 125 years of massive data, 7 million lines of computer code, and quintillions of calculations daily. We step through 72 climate cycles and if-then scenarios, an inconceivable number of iterations. We then factor in statistics by day and location to predict what will happen and then apply our if-then scenario and you have highly accurate, stable forecasts for proactive, not reactive planning like with traditional meteorology. But we're not done. Our trade secret step number four combines a little bit of meteorology and factors in 24 climate cycles. That's where the 61 trillion trillion comes in as we're assessing those cycles and their trends, which most companies don't do. And that tells us what to expect 11 months in advance. It allows us to make long range calls on weather and by extension, prices on next year's corn, for instance, which we've nailed four years running. And you'll like what you hear about the corn price for next year. More on that shortly. Bottom line, their way chaos our way, confidence. Which way do you want to go? Big companies and over 100 other Fortune 1000 clients have trusted our year-ahead forecast for 13 years and have made over $1 billion plus in ROI as a result. Today, hundreds of farmers are trusting our year-ahead forecast to determine the right corn variety to plant a year ahead, when to plant to avoid floods and frost, when to put down more fertilizer, what to expect for the critical pollination phase, when to harvest, and the risk associated with the harvest, and most importantly, when to sell and not sell their corn. At WT360, we have custom year-ahead forecasts for your zip code and farm anywhere in the world for under $300 a year, about $25 a month. Make it worth your while and visit our website and see how we can specifically help you. For now, you'll just have to trust that we've done the math right on that huge number we showed earlier, and remember that none of our bigger clients spend the $50,000 to $200,000 a year fee for anything but a very accurate forecast for both the weather and how weather will influence their sales and business. 
So what's that huge number with 103 zeros behind it tell us about agriculture and the 2016 crop season? The answer, major risk. And those that have a yield will be selling their corn at six to seven dollars plus next year. As you can see in the graphic, WT360 has accurately and consistently predicted the big moves in corn prices up to a year in advance based on the expected weather conditions during the growing season. We got the weather right a year ahead, again, with 83.5% temperature and rainfall accuracy. Red and blue bars represent year-over-year -year temp forecast, the dotted lines the actual verification. Same applies to the precip graph, green and tan year-over-year -year precip forecast, and the dotted lines the actual verification. Your risks include later planting in 2016, with cooler and wetter weather likely to set up after a very warm, below average snowfall winter across the Corn Belt as El Nino collapses. Then we worry about a late spring freeze in early May that will have some farmers replanting. Then, right after the crop is planted, the rain spigot from the heavens shuts off and we enter the worst drought since 2012 for the Corn Belt. Right when we don't want to hear, we'll get it during the late June, early July time frame so critical to the pollination phase. The combination of heat and dry soil moisture will be making headline news at this point in 2016. That means corn very likely soaring over $6, maybe 7 As the drought continues through August, the news gets worse with lower and lower yield expectations. Add to that the potential for an early frost in late September and October. Please pause this video to further review our high-level forecast for the March through September 2016 season. We sincerely hope this video has been useful, effective, and serves as a guidepost for you, the farmer, in being proactive rather than reactive to nature's forces. Episode 2 in our Seeds of Success mini-series comes your way in mid-November. It will contain valuable information for you, the farmer, so please stay tuned for that. To see what our farmer clients think of our services, stay with us for a few more seconds to see what they're saying.